Trump claims he only blocked military aid to Ukraine in order to pressure that country to crack down on corruption. But his administration has repeatedly tried to slash billions from anti-corruption efforts in Ukraine and around the world. Here's a summary of the article. Mick Mulvaney and Donald Trump Trump says he blocked military aid to force Ukraine to combat corruption. President Trump has claimed that he only blocked military aid to Ukraine in order to pressure that country to crack down on corruption. The Trump administration has tried to frame the president's pressure on Ukraine to investigate the Bidens and the 2016 election as an anti-corruption effort. Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney told Fox News on Sunday that the primary reason the administration held up nearly $400 million in military aid was the rampant corruption in Ukraine. Trump similarly defended his July 25 phone call with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky by insisting he was only concerned about corruption in the country. It's very important to talk about corruption. If you don't talk about corruption, why would you give money to a country that you think is corrupt? Trump told reporters last month, before adding, what Biden did was wrong. There is in fact no evidence that former Vice President Joe Biden or his son Hunter did anything illegal in Ukraine. Trump tried to slash the program's funding to Ukraine to $13 million, but the idea was rejected by Congress, which approved $30 million, according to the Post. It's ironic to hear President Trump talk about his work fighting against corruption, because he essentially shut down these very clear-cut initiatives that have been endorsed the world over, that are not radical by any stretch of the imagination. Oxfam America's Isabel Manila told NPR. With Trump facing his own allegations of corruption for mixing his presidency with his personal financial interests, experts say it isn't just his policies that send the message that the United States is no longer interested in policing corruption. This post received a score of 42,747, with an upvote ratio of 84%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than, I would like you to do us a favor though because our country has been through a lot and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine, they say CrowdStrike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people. The server, they say Ukraine has it. Trump is incapable of not lying. Trump cultists, but look how confidently the bullshit flows from his mouth. It's refreshing to have a politician who's so honest about their brazen lying. He sticks to his guns. Which is another way of saying he is willingly ignorant and stubborn but it has the word, guns, in it so it sounds cool. I stick to my guns regardless of right, wrong too. Finally, a politician who represents my fundamental belief that I am always right about everything because that's how I feel. If the president never admits he's wrong, it means I don't have to either. Everyone who admires the president for telling it like it is probably also has an adult child who isn't talking to them, heard this somewhere. Really hit home. My wife just asked this morning why I haven't talked to my mum in a long time. This is a little too well timed. We all know he withheld aid to get them to fabricate dirt on Biden. It's not even a mystery anymore. I mean this is, what, his sixth version of events? How anyone can think he is telling the truth today lied the last five times is beyond me. How has his pants not spontaneously combusted at this point? I was expecting the Bible he swore the oath of office upon to burst into flames as soon as he said, I do solemnly swear, like that lie detector in The Simpsons. I got a hot date tonight, cross mark. A date cross mark. Dinner with friends cross mark. Dinner alone, cross mark. Watching TV alone, cross mark. All right. I'm going to sit at home and ogle the ladies in the Victoria's Secret catalogue cross mark. Sears catalogue, check mark. Now, would you unhook this already, please? I don't deserve this kind of shabby treatment, cross mark. The impeachment inquiry is revealing more and more that Trump blatantly violated the law in his pressure on Ukraine. Just to note, running out the clock on foreign aid, acting White House Budget Director Russ Vought and acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney presented Trump with a proposal last month to freeze more than $4 billion in foreign aid by tying up the funds in the last days of the fiscal year diverting Homeland Security cash. Besides the national emergency declaration the president handed down earlier this year, his administration has also quietly transferred hundreds of millions of dollars to help with immigration enforcement. Shifting money to the border wall, the president notched a victory this summer when the Supreme Court allowed his administration to continue taking money from other accounts to build the border wall. 
Dipping into national parks fees, during the five-week government shutdown earlier this year, the Trump administration siphoned cash from National Park Service fees to keep services going as the president held the line on demanding border wall funding. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.